it is general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below hey gemini what's up welcome to your reading this is going to be for gemini sun moon rising and venus so if you guys are in separation you guys have had a breakup so this is going to be a reading of whether you guys will reconcile or not okay okay let's see i don't like to open my mouth till i don't clarify the cards because clarifications can change the entire message okay let's clarify overall both of y'all are in love you both love each other it's just that gemini you're someone who just doesn't know if you can get things off ground with this person probably you invested into this person in the past okay and things didn't go your way or something was a bad investment all right but when it comes to loving this person you love them a lot okay you're just someone who's not the best at expressing your emotions this person on the other hand they have a lot of love for you okay and they're wanting to open up come towards you express themselves emotionally wanting to be vulnerable towards you in their mind they're definitely choosing or wanting to make uh, some kind of initi initiation towards you they want to take action and with a page of pentacles it looks like they definitely want to offer something committed to you okay there is communication coming in from this side okay this week uh, six of pentacles is the action that you want to take okay so you want this is not an action card this is more like what you want so to me with the six of pentacles it feels like you are definitely wanting a very very balanced relationship out here okay so it looks like you have put in all your work and effort into this uh, in the past okay but something made you feel very imbalanced okay because something was very uh, one-sided you either felt like you were taken advantage of or uh, you just were getting the bare minimum okay so your attitude is like either i get a balanced uh equal give and take kind of relationship or i don't want it at all okay that's why in your mind here you're just feeling if something this is that self-doubt of if you can make things happen with this person or not okay if there is something long term with this person it's literally like you know you want you're you're trying to think if something can work out but it's something that doesn't make sense to you long term okay you just don't know if you can have something long term with this person this person out here definitely has thought about it okay they have the opportunity that is there and they're coming in to work on it that's a very diligent lover that's someone who wants to put in the hard work okay definitely someone who's planning and manifesting something to make things right with you they're planning communication okay but it's just that they take their time okay and this is someone who just doesn't give their energy to anybody all right they're constantly trying to think about how to make things work out okay in a way that it makes sense long term all right let's clarify tell me about the ace of pentacles in reverse why is the ace of pentacles in reverse here on gemini's mind they're coming in gemini let's see eight of pentacles in reverse so it definitely looks to me like with the eight of pentacles in reverse here you feel that you so i'm getting like i said right you have put in a lot of hard work all right for sure you i'm sorry is my hand coming in between i'm just trying to check my hand. you've been putting a lot of hard work yeah so we have the eight of pentacles in reverse the ace of wands and the magician here so basically <clears throat> you put in a lot of hard work like i said right uh, you have been very patient with this person okay and wanting to things wanting things to progress but somewhere somehow you feel you, you're lacking the motivation to invest anything more into this person okay because you feel your efforts are not being valued with the magician here you do have a lot of um you have that willingness to make things happen with this person out here okay because the magician here is someone who doesn't doubt themselves okay so yeah you have a lot of confidence in yourself that you can make things happen or something can go in your favor and with the ace of wands here all right you're uh, you're realizing your true power you want to manifest this person all right but with and with the ace of wands here you definitely want a brand new beginning with this person you are very passionate about them but with the star in reverse here you're losing hope and faith if things can happen okay or things can work out because i'm constantly getting gemini you've done a lot in this relationship here okay whilst it was a very unbalanced situation okay all right tell me about the page of pentacles on this person's mind where's the page of pentacles here on this person's mind please knight of swords they are in a hurry <laughs> this person is in a hurry to communicate with me come communicate with you okay this person feels the need to talk to you right now we have the five of pentacles in reverse and the strength here this person is going to do everything under the sun that they can okay 
uh, to tame the situation okay with the strength here so what i'm feeling here is with the ace of pentacles in reverse you both have ace of pentacles in reverse here okay which looks to me that you both want this but you both are doubting if this is going to work out long term yeah yeah that's what i'm getting you both feel that something's either a missed opportunity or you both feel that you know something isn't realistic long term at least you feel like that okay because you put in your work this person feels like that probably because, and that's why they're hurrying up maybe they feel it's a missed opportunity if they don't make that effort towards you okay that's why with the page of pentacles and the knight of swords not only are they taking action but they're going to communicate this with you okay but with the strength here i feel that they're going to do whatever it takes to make things work out you know I don't see this person holding back. The strength is holding back, but I feel this is someone who's going to try and tame the situation, okay? They're going to do what it takes to make things happen with you. There is this doubt there that they have, but they're still going to make that they're going to make that effort. Tell me about the King of Cups here. Why is this in Gemini's feelings? What does Gemini feel? King of Cups. Why is this King of Cups in Gemini's feelings? Hmm. One more card, please. Wow. So, <clears throat> Gemini, with the King of Cups, we have the Two of Cups in reverse and we have the um, we have the Ten of Cups here. This is what you feel, okay? You have a lot of love for this person. You probably even want commitment with this person, okay? But right now, with the Two of Cups in reverse here, I feel like you guys, you, you, you're not on the same page with this person. Okay, you guys are not seeing eye to eye, but you're making a very heart overhead decision, okay? And you're choosing to hold back. Again, there is love here, okay? But you're choosing to hold back here with the three of wands or you're even waiting for this person to come towards you. There is a lot of manifestation going on on your side, Gemini. But yeah, you see this person as your happily ever after. But you know what I'm getting? Three of wands is the card of manifestation, right? So I feel that you're not putting in your work this time because you've done enough, right? But you're manifesting this person and right now you're choosing to be content wherever you are. Take it either ways. Either you want commitment with this person but you're just choosing to stay content where you are because right now there you guys are just not together okay there's an imbalance out here but again you do have a lot of love here with the king of cups here but you're choosing um you're not the best at expressing them okay so you're gonna, just going to keep quiet and love them from a distance what is the knight of cups here in this person's feelings why does this person feel the knight of cups queen of swords in reverse here <laughs> they're so scared of you they see you as someone very very negative right now very negative okay you're being hypercritical right now gemini they're very intimidated by you they don't know if you're going to give them a second chance here the queen of swords in reverse okay so now she is someone you know so you know what it's literally like this is someone who's either negative or they're just feeling like this towards you okay they're very pissed off with you they're very angry with you I feel like they're angry because they don't know what to do with so much love that they have for you. They have so much love for you and it's like I hate it that I love you. It's almost like that song, you know, it's a Bollywood song. It says I hate you that I love you. I hate it that I love you, something like that, right? That's the kind of energy I'm getting from this person here. See four of cups, this person is fearing rejection. That's why the Ace of Pentacles never. This person's fearing rejection. That could be one of the reasons why they're holding back here. Because with the Seven of Cups, this person know, does not know which is the right approach to make towards you. Like, what can I just do that my Gemini would just say a yes to me, you know? Or they would just take me back. Seriously, that's what I'm getting. This person has a lot of uh, a fear of rejection. They don't want you to just cut them off completely, okay? And they're also pissed off with themselves because they have so much love for you. But... There is this lack of expression. They, they don't know what can they say in order to put forth their point in a very logical way or in a way that you can understand. They're very discontented without you. They're not happy without you. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles in Gemini's? <laughs> Six of Pentacles. <coughs> Clarified by the Six of Pentacles in reverse here with the Sun in reverse here. Give me one more card for the Six of Pentacles. Tell me, why is the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah. Give me one more card for the Six of Pentacles. I knew it. All right, we'll take it. Nine of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Swords. I feel, Gemini, you're very focused on balancing the situation, okay? 
because there was a very huge imbalance between you and this person okay something was one-sided here and now you're choosing yourself gemini okay like i said you're very content where you are there has been a breakup separation yes agreed you have a lot of love for this person but when it comes to your approach towards this person it's like no do i really want to do this again you're trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel okay but i also feel that you're no longer making this person a priority in your life you've done stressing you're done stressing you're done being in that panic mode okay you could be overthinking and over analyzing but you're not doing that anymore and i think with the seven of swords you're trying to get away from this person okay that's why this person probably almost feels it's a missed opportunity and if they don't something you don't do anything about it you're going to be the one who got away and that's what you're doing you're trying to get away from this person i feel that you feel this person coming in towards you okay and you're just like trying to make up some shit in in a way where you can just escape this person i don't think you want to Again, it's it, it just because you have love for someone does not mean that you still want to be with this person, okay? Because this person could be keeping you in cycles, you know, dragging this connection, whatever. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? The world. Give me one more card for the Ace of Cups. One more card for the Ace of Cups. Page of Wands, yeah. This person's coming in, okay. With the Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the World here. So this person definitely wants to start a new cycle with you for sure, okay. They have a lot of love for you. This time they're ready to open up emotionally. If this was someone who's holding back from you, they're ready to open up, express themselves, okay. They're ready to be vulnerable. They're coming in with that communication, okay. And with the World here, they want to move things to the next level with you, for sure. They want to take things to the next level. So if you guys were friends, they want to date you. If you guys were dating, they want to get into something exclusive. If you were exclusive and you broke up, they want to get into a commitment, okay? But this is someone who's definitely, you know, uh, releasing and surrendering and they want something new with you. This is taking things to the next level here. Why is the justice here? Tell me why is this the reason for the separation or breakup? Why is the justice here? See, it's all about balance. It's about I'm feeling something was not fair, you know. Gemini, you could have felt things weren't fair. And that's why you could have ended things with this person. There is a lot of love here because we have the two of cups here. But probably when it came to something, some kind of label or you could have been with this person for a very long time. And when you asked for something, you know, that you really wanted to make things happen and that's when they yeah you were bored of this situation you know repeating itself over and over again yeah see you thought this was fucking toxic knight of pentacles three of pentacles in reverse and the justice here all right so this is what happened you tried to you have cut off this person gemini is what i'm getting because you tried to maintain a balance here okay something felt you wanted to balance things up because you were feeling very imbalanced with this person you finally used your logic you were practical and very rational about what you did and you cut this person off okay because you were hitting a wall with this person okay every single time you wanted to talk to this person they refused to work with you they refused to put in their work their effort okay they, they just refused to make something happen or build on a very concrete foundation with you of course with the devil here this was something which was very very toxic okay and you probably realize that over time that this was a pattern that was repeating itself over and over again this was more like an addiction okay more like in a codependency you felt restricted okay that you couldn't get rid of this connection and finally probably with the knight of pentacles in reverse here i'm feeling that you let go of this connection because there was just no movement okay I'm picking up, you could be dealing with someone who never made this relationship a priority, okay, and uh, that's why you had to leave, okay, because this was either who was, some, who was lacking the effort or, you know, into the situation, anyways, you could be dealing with someone who was very slow moving towards you, okay, they would take step by step, baby steps towards you, you never knew if you were a priority, their business, their career, their money, their goals, everything was a priority but you, okay, and this was someone who was dragging the situation, okay, that's what I was picking up. And that's why you finally, you brought balance to yourself is what I'm get, getting by letting this relationship go. What's the chariot here? Tell me about the chariot, please. Why is the chariot here? Two of pentacles, contemplation. Tell me about the chariot here, please. Chariot with the chariot and the tower here. Wow. 
there's going to be this sudden movement, you know, with the tower here. Something's going to change all of a sudden. That's the mutual energy. You both want this, okay? I feel you both want to move towards each other, okay? To balance out the situation. Or I'm feeling you both want this so bad because we have the chariot card twice whenever there's a card twice the energies double up so which means that if you want to make something a success if you both want to make things work out it's going to need that action okay that decisive action that willingness determination okay to make something move forward here okay distance could be a big issue between you guys but with the tower and two of pentacles here i'm getting um something has to drastically change there is something that needs to be changed okay but with the two of pentacles here in order to balance this situation you're both going to have to make a decision okay because i feel there's a lot of contemplation going on okay what to do what to do what to do probably more from this person okay because you're very sure about what you want in your approach okay you're very sure this person is someone who's wanting to make things right okay but they're still contemplating to i mean should they should they not should they should they not at least the good part is that they, they are willing and determined to make things uh, happen with you okay about the tower here it's like an epiphany okay it's like a real realization that this person has here but there's that indecision okay like they say right consciously uh, you want to do something but subconsciously they're indecisive okay that's why things are not moving forward your vibrations your desires don't make a reality vibrations make a reality okay so yes this person desires you they want to make things right that's their desire but that's not going to become a reality because they're not vibrating at the same level if you get what i'm saying the chariot is their desire okay i want to move forward i want to go to my gemini i want to make things happen i want another chance but with the two of pentacles that's their vibration and their subconscious okay which is constantly making them feel like should i should i not should i should i not weighing out the pros and cons okay so that's what i'm just saying Tell me about the three of pentacles here. What's the three of pentacles? What is this three of pentacles? Definitely looks like someone's wanting to come in and work towards you and build on you, build with you. Okay, towards a partnership. They want to work towards a partnership. Someone very serious. Okay, ready to be on the same page with you. Too many cards, babe. Too many cards. Okay. Nine of cups here. This, I mean, this is someone who makes, this is... A wish fulfillment okay but this is also some uh you who makes this person very very happy so with the three of pentacles the fool in reverse and the queen of wands in reverse the queen of wands in reverse has come out before also at the bottom of the deck i feel this person wants to work with you okay for sure but again there is this risk factor okay that this person keeps contemplating i feel to me it feels like as the outcome here this person is going to come in towards you okay but you're going to be the one who's going to be contemplating on whether you still want to give this person another chance and literally i'm getting do i really want to be another fool and take a leap of faith and move towards this person because you've been through hell and back with this person all right you have and i feel with the queen of wands in reverse here you just don't um you uh, this person makes you feel very insecure okay you're lacking the confidence okay of whether this can happen with this person or not okay you're you're absolutely lacking the confidence you're not confident enough of whether you want to take action towards this person that's what's happening so i feel if you're talking about reconciliation definitely three of pentacles they are coming to work things out with you gemini it's you who i am very doubtful of of whether you want to make things happen with the, with this person or not okay because with the nine of cups here two ways either you are very happy and content where you are okay or this is th something that's going to make you very happy okay when they come in but taking a risk i don't think you want to do that because again i'm telling you this person you constantly doubt yourself with this person you know so yeah that's what i have for you gemini i hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below like share subscribe and i will see you next time Bye bye